so hi guys and welcome back to my channel today's video would be me reviewing the l'oreal infallible foundation uh, this is the first time i'm using l'oreal products this is their infallible pro matte in 108 caramel beige and it says it's medium coverage finish is very matte wear up to 24 hours texture is air light yeah so yeah i'll be trying this foundation today the video for this eye look will be uploaded soon if not uploaded already so, enjoy the video guys and you get to see my thoughts on that foundation As I said before, this is my Infalla L'Oreal Paris Infallible Foundation. I have been wanting to try this foundation for a while now. It's number 108. So right here, I was reading the back of the foundation where it says it's medium coverage. Um, the matte, the finish is demi matte. And um, it's supposed to feel air light on the skin. What I usually use is my LA Girl HD Pro foundation in the shade Cafe to cover my dark spots and hyperpigmentation and do it at outer parts. And then I would go in the middle with the lighter shade that actually matches my complexion. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the L'Oreal Palace Paris Infallible Foundation. And it was a bit more expensive than my usual Maybelline. So I expect it to turn out somewhat good. So I am going to prime my face like i would usually do to give the foundation a fair shot so i just sprayed some primer onto my face i mix rose water with the city color primer in a box in a spray bottle and spray it on my face so you see i'm gonna cover those spots with the shade cafe la girl So right here you see I am adding cafe to the lower part of my face and where I have darkness or hyperpigmentation caused by my PCOS. And after doing this part, I will go in with the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. And it says Pro Matte. So that's why I chose to review it because I am a matte person. I like matte foundations. So now I'm going to try the L'Oreal. Let's see.
So I don't think error is foundation. I put from a Maybelline. Like it's not so horrible, you know. It says medium, so I can understand why. Um, I don't like it. I don't like it one day. Um, I'm not gonna say it's a waste because it did something, but I need more coverage, so I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline as a concealer under my eyes. Then I can see where my Maybelline foundation is making a difference by putting it over the top and using it as if I were to use a concealer under my eye. I'm just using this LA Girl Pro HD powder to give some definition to my nose after I've added my Sacha Buttercup powder. And the shade I'm using is in the shade Honey. So I definitely did not like this foundation for the fact that um, I could use my Maybelline foundation to conceal under my eyes. Normally I just use the foundation, I don't use any concealer under my eyes for a while now because it always creases and the Maybelline alone was fine for me. Um, I thought the foundation could be a bit more pigmented. It was too light and did not stick to my face in the matte way that I wanted it to. So that's it for this for, for this video guys. That's it. And please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. I'm trying my best to give more videos as soon as possible. Please be safe and be well. Love you all. Bye.